What's going on? Thanks for tuning in once again. And yes, another update from Algorand. Uh, let's, this is Twitter I'm going to start with. Some great things have been released, news-wise, newsworthy announcements. And this one, let's see, Developer Week, there was amazing, scan here. Today I want to talk about Tether. Tether releasing the information that they're coming over to Algorand. And Tether, Tether's taking some, uh, some pretty good steps, you know, to make sure they're here for the long run. It's a planet watch. All right, here we go. Tether and Algorand birth, both share a desire to keep building next-gen financial products. And we feel our growing customer base will appreciate and benefit greatly from this collaboration. So we all know uh, after the beer market, a lot of beer tools came out and a lot of stable dollars and stable things came out. You know, to stable stables where you can go. Um, so Tether, it's like what the OG, the grandfather of, of all stable coins, for mint on Algorand, which is cool. You know, that's where you can, if you're a creative, if you're a company, if you are an individual, and you have different assets, you can, you know, liquidate, consolidate into a stable coin uh, to ride out the bear market or whatever have you. Uh, you can transact with uh, a stable coin. You know, just so it's not too volatile. You know, you get some Bitcoin, it goes up to 10,000, goes down to 9,000. You're like, what do I do here? It's too volatile. So stable coins, you know, they play their part in the, crypt, the digital space. So here goes an article, Tether deploys on Algorand. Benefit. So yes, if you haven't used Algorand yet, give it a try. You'll see the low fees and how fast the transactions are. Uh, so this is some great tech, some great things happening. You can do smart contracts, ASAs, Algorand Asset. Uh, some, uh, so that's why Tether came over. Once that ASA was released, they said, oh, we can do it now. And I think there's another, let's see, Tether Algorand. Yeah, so I got the, I have the articles here. Tether launches as the first stable coin on Algorand's next generation blockchain platform. So think of Tether as a company. Uh, with this stable stable coin, so they can they can launch it on whatever they want. Matter of fact, let me go to Coin Gecko, go to Tether, and you see circulating supply four billion, four point two billion tethers. But look, check this out: Blockchain, Omni Explorer, Ether, USD, Token View, Tron. Tether is going to be up here soon. I mean, Algorand, Explorer. So you see these different explorers. So if we go over to the Ether scan, you'll see what it's 2.2, almost 2.3 billion tethers on Ethereum. And this is the contract right here. And these are the people using them. Look at that. 500,000 Hubley. Uh So just the people use it. You know, this is something immediate use. So let's see, almost a million holders, 18 million transfers. You can see DEX trades. You can just see everything that's going on. Kyber Network, uh, Wrapped Ethereum, let's see, Exchange. So this is, if you want to dive, dive deeper into this, Binance, USDT. Okay, cool. So this is a lot of information on Etherscan. Um, you can check out the contract here. Read the contract. Right contract info holders, you can go there. So Etherscan is a very good tool. Uh, check this out. So 4% is on Hoboy 2 OKX. It's 2.2% for .2 tricks. So you can see where it is. Then let's go over to Tron Scan. So look, Tron, the official stable coin issued by Tether. So Tether issued it on Ethereum and on Tron. And uh, let me see, almost a billion, 859 million. So you got the white paper, got issuance, token transfers, 67,000 right here, just a minute ago. Another, oh, it's the same amount, 67 came in, 67 came out. Wonder what's going on there. <laughs> Doesn't even matter. Token holders, Binance. 80%, 81%, Binance Hot, Poloniex. So it looks like Binance, Poloniex, Hoboy. Cool. 
the exchanges have the bulk of these stable coins and people use them. So that's and I actually Algorand has they're setting up their explorer too. And I don't know if this is the correct amount. <laughs> we'll see, but I'll go explore is coming. Um, so you can come here and read the article, check it out, go a little deeper, see what what this uh, allows the user to do. The, actually, the space, the entire space. You know, as things continue to get set up, we're still early. So as everything matures, you know, things getting set up in place, you can use it. Your friends, your parents, whoever. You know, things like this need to be in place to interact and not be as volatile. You know, not just, just those up and downs. Then the moon, back down, moon shot, come back down. That's too ridiculous. Uh, people get stressed out over that. <laughs> so this is the article from February 10th of 2020. And the other article I had is kind of the same thing. Let me see. Tether will benefit from Algorand's low transaction fees and almost instant transaction confirmations. So it says the news was released back in 2019 in July. So obviously Tether saw Ethereum, Algorand, you know, other coins saying, you know what, we're going to use their technology. And that's my mindset. <laughs> Best tech wins. That's really what it's all about. You know, you can be a maximalist, you can be a Bitcoin maximalist, you can be a Ethereum maximalist. doesn't matter who you are, the best tech will win. You know, even if it's doing well over 5, 10 years, if it's not after that 20th year, something's going to come along and replace it. So, it's best to be, uh, just do your research. Chain agnostic is the, my approach. <laughs> Proof of stake. Now, let's see. Added dive. DeFi features such as smart contracts to the blockchain. Partnership with Planet Rock, Planet Watch also recently announced. Yep, we talked about that. Tether, on the other hand, has been slowly expanding its stablecoin to reach new platforms, starting with Omni. Oh, yeah, so we saw Omni. Let me go back there. Here we go. Omni Explorer, Asset 31, Omni, so Tether. There is 1.5 billion. Yeah, 1.5 billion. The next paradigm of money. Issuer. Um, let's go back to the article. Um, then spreading to China. Oh, in the US too. Oh, cool. So this is the fifth platform for Tether. So we'll see. You know, and guess what? Tether is by far the largest stable coin on the crypto market, even surpassing Bitcoin in 2019. Shows you that this these stable coins are needed. Um, all the other stable coins combined. Don't amount to Tether's massive 4.5 billion benchmark, which is cool. So deployment, cool, cool. So you can read deeper into this, follow along. You know, if you're a techie, definitely jump in. If you're a newbie, you know something to pay attention to. Uh, these these stable coins and what they're going to offer. I know Ethereum has its own stable coin, Dai, and you you get seven percent, seven eight percent just from holding it, uh, staking it. So that's cool. So these stable coins are going to allow people, uh, I would say medium to low risk investment. And that's what you want. You know, just some low risk stuff, some medium stuff. If you want to go to high risk, if you really want to jump in, <laughs> you're going to get eaten alive. Uh, so th that's what I'm going to talk about today. And we have, I'm going to do, I'm going to set up an interview pretty soon just to go a little deeper into these ASAs. Let me see if we can go to Algorand. <laughs> Algorand. You at. Let's just go to the website. Who we are, work with us, resources, what we do. So as you see, Algorand 2.0. You can go here. Everything's on the site. Atomic transfers, ASC ones, ASAs, Algorand standard asset in layer one. So there may be a layer, layer two, layer three. You know, it gets better with each uh, new release. Unique functionality, role back, role based asset control, RBAC. Optional and flexible asset controls for issuers and managers for business compliance and regulatory re requirements. Differentiators. Cool. So here's all the information. Check out what you can do. Gain points, stable coin, loyalty, system credits, cryptocurrency. That's fungible, non fungible. Game items, supply chain, real estate, identity. Ooh, identity. <laughs> Certifications and collectibles. 
and restricted fungible tokens. Ooh, R RFTs, securities. Ooh, oh baby. This is some good stuff here. Um, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. <laughs> oh, I'm not telling you. Do your own research. Go check out Algorand. And you know, keep informed. Restricted non fungible tokens, real estate owner. Ooh. <laughs> this is just too good. <laughs> wow, this is incredible. So, there's some great stuff you can do. Most exciting use cases asset tokenization, third party asset issu issuance on Algorand, democratized access to investments, disintermediate cross border transactions. <sighs> I'm gonna go get some algorithm. <laughs> I'll be back. So yeah, this is just this is incredible. Um, cool. So that's my video. Thanks for tuning in. Leave a comment below. Let me know your top coin, what you're you know looking into. What do you what tech are you excited about? That's really that's the play right now. Looking at the tech and seeing what's going on, what's gonna benefit you and the globe, you know, everyone around you. Alright, thanks for tuning in. Make sure to subscribe and like this, reshare it, tell a friend, come check it out. See what's going on in the space. All right, peace out. Sad.